to Grade 5 Science. I am Petal Peter Skadir. Let us have fun looking at plants today because science is fun, it's cool, it's awesome, and it's everywhere. The topic for today is grouping flowering plants. The objective is state the features of monocotyledonous and dicotyledonous plants. Let us watch this video on plants. Hello, welcome back to the science lessons and today we are looking at groups of plants. The main groups today being flowering plants and our non-flowering plants. Uh, the lesson is brought to you by teacher Frederick K. So first, let's look at our flowering plants. Uh, flowering plants, by definition, are plants that have flowers, as you can see there. I went an extra mile to find you some beautiful flowering plants. Okay, those are examples of flowering plants, but you will give me more examples in your worksheets after this. Okay let's look at the next which are the examples of flowering plants we have the chili plant and that is its flower it has very tiny white flowers and in the picture we have the chili plant with the chili fruits already but basically the flowers are small and white then we have our star gooseberry that is the star gooseberry fruit and on the right hand uh, its flowers. Then we have the watermelon. You see it usually has some big yellow flowers. So that's the fruit and the flower. And then we have the orange tree. The orange tree also has small white flowers. So we can see there it has flowers and some oranges. Okay, and that's our rose plant. The rose plant also has flowers. So some of the common examples of flowering plants, as we've seen, we have the chili plant, we have the star gooseberry tree, we have the watermelon plant, we have an orange tree and a rose plant. So let's continue and see some of the non-flowering plants. Non-flowering plants are plants that have no flowers. None meaning no. So these are some of the examples as you see them. They look so beautiful but none of them has flowers. So let's see some of the examples of these. Examples of non-flowering plants. We have the cycads and some people can call them cycadels and most uh, these are so common in flower gardens but they actually bear no flowers and then we have the mosses those are the the spongy the spongy greenish plant that grows on on dead trees or dead logs so that's it and sometimes you find it on rocks that are in places which have a lot of water so those are the mosses and then we have our ferns in the ferns we also have what we call a vegetable fern and many people eat it as a vegetable so we have the cycad we have the mosses and the ferns these are non-flowering plants they bear no flowers whatsoever okay so let's look at the groups of plants again as a summary of our lesson uh, here we have the flowering plants these are the plants which have flowers and then we have watermelons in our previous lesson we have the rose plant we have an apple tree and that's it for the non-flowering plants again using the examples in the lesson we have plants that do not have flowers we have the cycad the fern and the moss those are the main examples so i hope in this lesson you have understood how we can group the different plants we have into just these two simple groups flowering those that have flowers and non-flowering those that do not bear flowers at all goodbye and see you in the next lesson as we try to understand especially flowering plants better I am sure you learned a lot about plants 
from that video? Well, let us find out. What are the two groups of plants? What are the two groups of plants? The two groups of plants are flowering plants and non-flowering plant. State the difference between these two groups of plants. State the difference between these two groups of plants. Flowering plants bear flower and non-flowering plants do not bear flower. Identify examples of each group of plants. Identify examples of each group of plants. Examples of flowering plants are watermelon and oranges. Examples of non-flowering plants are ferns and mosses. Very good boys and girls. Now we will learn more about flowering plants. Since flowering plants bear flowers, they also produce seeds. Let us look at these seeds. A. Peanut and B. Corn. When you look at seed A, you will notice a line separating it into two parts. When you apply pressure along this line, the seed separates into two halves. These two parts are called cotyledons. So seed A has two cotyledons. Now let us look at seed B. Now there is no line separating seed B. And when you apply pressure, the seed does not separate into two cotyledons. This is because it has one cotyledon. So seed A has two cotyledons and seed B has one cotyledon. Seeds with two cotyledons are called dicotyledons. And seeds with one cotyledon are called monocotyledons. Do you know of any other seed with two cotyledons? Very good, mango. And do you know of any other seed with one cotyledon? Yes, coconut. Flowering plants are divided into two groups, monocotyledonous plants and dicotyledonous plants. Let us look at these two plants, plant A and plant B. Look at the leaves of the plants. Are they the same? No. Plant A leaves have veins running in the same direction. These leaves are called parallel veined or straight veined leaves. And plant B has leaves with veins running in different directions. These leaves are called net veined leaves. So plant A has straight veined leaves and plant B has net veined leaves. Now let us look at the roots of the plants. Plant A has many small roots growing from the stem. This type of root is called fibrous root. Plant B has one main root and many small roots growing from that main root. This type of root is called tap root. So plant A has fibrous root and plant B has tap root. 
plant A is a monocotyledonous plant. Monocotyledonous plants have parallel veined leaves, fibrous root, and seeds with one cotyledon. Examples of monocotyledonous plants are corn, coconut, and rice. Plant B is a dicotyledonous plant. Dicotyledonous plants have net veined leaves, top root, and seeds with two cotyledons. Examples of dicotyledonous plants are bora, peanut, mango, and black eyed peas. Now, let us play a guessing game. Look at the picture of the leaves of these plants and state whether the plant is monocotyledonous or dicotyledonous. Let us see if you were correct. A, net vein leaf, so it's dicotyledonous. B, net vein leaves, dicotyledonous. C, parallel vein leaf, monocotyledonous. D, net vein leaves, dicotyledonous and E parallel vein leaves monocotyledonous very good in this lesson we learned that plants that bear flower are called flowering plants and plants that do not bear flower are called non flowering plants flowering plants are divided into two groups monocotyledonous and dicotyledonous plants. Dicotyledonous plants have net vein leaves, top root, and seeds with two cotyledons. Monocotyledonous plants have parallel vein leaves, fibrous root, and seeds with one cotyledon. Great job today. Boys and girls, as you walk around your neighborhood, observe plants. Look at their leaves, roots, and seeds. Identify if they are monocotyledonous or dicotyledonous plants. Science is happening all around us. See you next time. Goodbye.